Hi everybody. When I started this channel, I didn't plan to do a lot of reviews, and I still don't. And this may be the only review I do. It was just an opportune moment when they contacted me. My generator had just quit working. I needed to power some tools for a project, and they claimed that this would run an electric chainsaw, which I was a little skeptical on. This thing's kind of small, but it actually has a 3,000 watt peak output and a running output of 1500 watts. So with that said, it should do it. Anyways, this is more of a semi-abusive test than a review, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna start right off with, can it run an electric chainsaw? All right, see it's plugged into the machine. Wow, this thing's way too small for that long. <laughs> but the power station did its job. Let's see. Still at 96% capacity. Well, I would say I didn't go easy on it, but I was kind of standing on it, trying to bog it down, actually just trying to get it over with. It cut through it, it kept it going, and this saws kind of chintzy and definitely too small for the log that I had. But the power station kept up, kept it running even when I was pretty much laying on the saw, so that's a good thing. Took it down about 4%, it's 96% capacity. The number on the right shows how many watts whatever you're running is drawing. So keep an eye on that. I'm going to run the saw. I'm going to bog it down. And when it bogs down, you're going to see the wattage shoot way up. Kind of cool. Now here's a tool I use all the time. This is what I really needed the power station for. See how it does. Day two, this after a full day of using it, I probably made 40 cuts with a circular saw. And that's where its capacity is at, 87%. After probably 40 cuts, I'm impressed. Today I cut all my rafters. There was nine of them total. I ripped that much on each end Cut these notched cuts, use the circular saw, use the jigsaw, cut the ends off, cut nine of them total. And you can see that, yeah, still at 39%. Overall, I've got to say I'm extremely impressed with this. I'm going to test how long I can do a continuous cut with this. I'll probably have to stop to jump my saw horses, but I'm going to rip a 16 foot long two by 10 and a half. I'm gonna use the Vitaman and my circular saw.
It did it. I didn't stop one time. It's pretty impressive. Sounds like it's working though. I hear the fan going. It's at 80% capacity. Huh. That drained it quite a bit because I haven't used it much today. But that was probably a three minute cut, non-stop, ripping a 210. So I mean, ripping definitely is harder on a saw. So that's still pretty darn good. Coffee pot starting draw was 785 watts. So right now, this is drawing 738 watts. That fired up, brought it up to 830, 840. So between the two of them, that draws about 848 watts. Those two combined seem to be drawing a pretty good amount. So currently, it's running the coffee pot and the battery charger. Let's see if it'll run the circular saw as well. Well, it did it, and it drew about 1,500 watts, so it's 16, 17 starting wattage. Pretty cool. So the coffee pot's done brewing. The battery charger was still charging. Surprised? I was quite surprised. As many cuts as I made, this thing held a charge really well, but constant draw from the coffee pot and the battery charger has it already down to 72%. I did run the circular saw for a minute, but I haven't cut anything with it. It's just the coffee pot and the battery charger. Really, the coffee pot and the battery charger add up to about the same draw as a circular saw, so it would be like running the circular saw however long it takes to brew a pot of coffee. Today I actually ran this thing pretty low, lower than you're supposed to, I believe. I cut a bunch of siding, made a bunch of rip cuts, made a pot of coffee, and charged the battery most of the day. Tomorrow I'll skip the coffee and just stick to cutting. This is what I powered with it today. Powered that air compressor, and on accident I've ran my chop saw at the same time as the air compressor. And it did it. It, it runs slow, even without the air compressor running. But it, it's doing really well. Not bad. So today I did about five and a half hours worth of work. I ran the air compressor a lot of the time to run a little uh, trim nailer. I ran this big chop saw. I did three walls worth of, worth of tongue and groove. I ran my circular saw and it's 11.28% left. So. I would say it's pretty good for running tools that really draw a lot of power. What are my final thoughts? This power station ran everything I wanted it to. It ran my compound miter saw, which I honestly thought it wouldn't. It ran a small air compressor and it ran the compound miter saw at the same time, which I was really surprised. Um, it ran my circular saw, it ran the jigsaw, a coffee pot, a battery charger. It did a great job can't speak to its longevity. I've only had it two, maybe three weeks, so it might last a long time and it might not. But overall, it did a great job. It has some features that I didn't get to try out. It has a port for jumper cables right here. They didn't send me the jumper cables, but I could see where that would be very handy if you were in a remote setting. You know, you get a dead battery on your vehicle. If you had this and a solar panel, 
you wouldn't be stuck there. Say you'd use this all day and you killed it. You could charge this with the solar panel and then jump your vehicle. This is the solar panel. I asked for it kind of late, so I didn't get to use it in the review. This seems to be nice quality construction. You fold it out, it's 100 watts. It's pretty much self-contained. This opens up, this little packet sewed onto it, and then the cord is right in the packet, and that just plugs into the panel. You could plug directly into the panel right here. There's a USB outlet and a USB-C outlet. So you can charge your stuff right on the panel. It also has a spot you can attach an extra battery. I would assume it's gonna up your capacity quite well, which all in all, I was pretty happy with the capacity that it has. Yeah, it did a good job. I almost forgot, they gave me a discount code. If you wanna buy this, 10% off, V-T-O-R-Y-A-N, and their website is vetoman.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. More than likely, it's gonna be the only one I do. So thanks a lot for watching.